In every child, there are trillions of cells that contain a collection of DNA that serves as the instructions for the creation and function of their body. You inherit two copies of each gene, one from mom and one from dad. In the cases of disease inheritance, a mutation or a disease-causing change in the DNA can be from mom's copy, dad's copy, both copies, or neither. This means that the mutation can either be inherited or arise on its own. Today's video is going to describe the case where a mutation arises on its own. As often found in epilepsy cases, there is no family history and the mutation arises in the child alone. This is called a de novo or new mutation. De novo mutations can arise in three different places in development. In the mother's egg, the father's sperm, or the fertilized embryonic cells. If the mutation came from the egg or sperm cells, the parents still do not develop symptoms because their DNA sample does not show a mutation anywhere other than their reproductive cells. However, the child's mutation will affect their entire body in de novo mutation inheritance. On behalf of TGen and the Center for Rare Childhood Disorders, thank you for watching this video. We hope we were able to expand your understanding of inheritance and de novo mutations. We invite you to rewatch this video as often as you'd like and to share it with other family members to inform them as well. And as always, the staff of the C4RCD is available to answer your questions when you've finished. For more information about other modes of inheritance and the process of whole exome sequencing, please see the links below.